Welcome to another show. My name is Aaron El Amin and am your host today. We're talking about cleaning brass. Now, what is brass? Brass is 65% copper, 35% zinc. Okay. These items that I'm cleaning are not super dirty. Okay. They didn't get super dark. I did a show two months ago. I haven't messed with them since then. The show was indoors. So I didn't really have to worry about being rained on or any of the oxidation that occurs from that. Because oxidation from rain and moisture will darken raw copper, brass, and silver. That's why sterling silver even tarnishes over a period of time, okay? So what we're going to do is clean some of these copper rings, okay, that I made here. I should have showed you before I took them all out of the tray. Kind of looking like, you know, different swirly designs. And these designs will be... Uh, each will have a tutorial, okay, for the most part, on how to make the different types of rings, all right, to get that going. And I brought actually over, sorry to take so much time off the screen there. I just wanted to do a real quick clean and show you this is all brass, okay, all brass. And now this is not brass colored. There's not aluminum on the inside of this. There's no other different metal on the inside. This is not painted or coated with anything gold this is gold all the way through so that means if I was to slice this metal all the way through it would be brass all the way through that's solid brass and when you're working with solid brass it gives you that ability to really maneuver the metal it gives you a really good strong piece there okay so just real simply let me see if we can show any kind of coloration change here's a good piece right here and <clears throat> this is Tarnex right and I've taken this Tarnex and I've poured it into uh, one of these milk containers so this is a water container that I cut um, I have three of them that I use for this example and we'll use these three right here one of these containers has uh, slits in it I'm gonna make sure I don't get any water in there it has slits in it that I put in with a knife okay in the bottom and I'm gonna show you how that's used in just one second how that's done and this one already has the Tarnix poured and this for visual effects so you know where it's coming from I just want to show you the real quick cleaning power on this let's just dip 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 and see okay you know I really hope this camera can pick this up it's really kind of difficult because the coloration is so fine but if it's possible you should see that it's a little darker over here, a lot darker over here. And then on this area where it's been dipped, it's a lot cleaner, okay? With that, what has happened there is oxidation has been removed from the surface of this metal. The oxidation occurs for a number of reasons. Let's check out the video I'm going to produce on why oxidation occurs. And that'll be a whole different storyline. But in the meanwhile, we're going to go ahead and take these rings and clean them. The benefit to this cleaning style for me is that I get to clean multiple items simultaneously. I've researched a lot of different products and I found that Tarnex, I'll just keep plugging Tarnex, but <laughs> that's what I'm using. This Tarnex actually <clears throat> cleans the metal without making it raw. It doesn't clean it to the bone bare somehow or another. It leaves a little bit of sheen on it. It allows the metal to not be brought down to its most porous condition. So I just simply drop them in like that, and you can really kind of instantaneously see them change. I mean, it happens right in front of your eyes. Okay, that's an instantaneous change there, right? Now I take my porous, well, my, my porous, throw that word around, the container that I've made the little holes in the corner, okay, that container, I take that container and I put it at an angle inside of another container, okay? And these can be ice buckets, they could be your, you can go to <clears throat> anywhere and get anything, buckets to make. But these are really good. For me, I like the flexibility because it allows me to pour to create my own spout. Okay. And the reason why those holes are in the bottom of this container is because if I need to, I can just dump all of the jewelry right in there. Okay. And it will drain on its own. And I get to reuse my Tarnex over and 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 over as many times as possible. The second step 
here is going to be to give me some super hot water. All right, we want super hot, hotter than the hand can actually bear it. Okay, we want to get that water nice and hot. The reason why we want the water nice and hot, I talked about the reason why in my video about the copper, and the reason why is because we want to get the metal hot enough so that it self dries once we pour the water off. Okay, you want the metal to begin to self dry as fast as possible, and that keeps any extra chemical changes from happening. There have been products that I've used in the past to clean my metals with, and somehow or another, you could only use the metal cleaner for 20 seconds, or 15 seconds, or 25 seconds, depending upon which kind of metal you had to pour it off and apply water of a particular temperature by a certain time. And no matter how much I tried, there were always small mistakes. And I, after trial and error, and actually accident when I ran out of everything I had I went late night to the supermarket and grabbed some Tarnax and I've been using Tarnax ever since then so those are rinsed off then the next phase is going to be to go ahead and dry them off okay and drying them off so that the rings are a little warm they're actually they're kind of hot I mean because I use scolding hot water if you can use boiling water <laughs> use boiling water and if, as you notice my hands have neither touched the chemical that I'm using, it hasn't touched the Tarnex, it hasn't touched the water, really. So, and really, I'm not doing a bunch of drying, but just the nature of the heat that's gaining in here, the rings are drying on their own. They really are. And then with that self drying, it keeps them nice and shiny. Okay? These are clean. These are nice and clean now. These are awesome. Okay? And then we're going to take and <clears throat> The final process on that would be we want to take an individual. See, you take an individual ring. Let's go ahead and take this one. I like this. It fell into my hands like the lottery. That's the one I grabbed. I grabbed this ring right here. All right. Let's take a look. I'll give that a little. Make sure it's nice and dry before I put my cloth. The cloth, the cleaning cloth, is void once water hits it. Okay. You can't let water hit your cleaning cloths. This cleaning cloth is a very special cloth it's the only one <laughs> I've ever used which has given me the results that I need for the type of vending and the type of show and the type of sales that I do and that means sometimes I'm indoors sometimes I'm outdoors so I need a cloth that's going to polish my product it's going to clean the product and it's going to leave a protective coating that's a non irritant it's really not even a protective coating it just cleans it so well it just polishes the metal so fine that it shines like a diamond and this brass the nice thing about brass I wish I had a piece of gold here is actually indistinguishable from 14 karat look at that I hope you can see that okay and I, I don't go anywhere without my cloths anymore this is the main this is the secret and they start off bright yellow like that. I'm, I'm popping up a picture. I'll pop up a picture of it so you can see what a fresh cloth looks like. But there's that ring. Look at that. Look at that. Look how shiny and clean that is. Now, I could set this in my office for a year probably and it wouldn't change as long as there's no major moisture in there. Okay, Aaron Alamine, Elements Design on Facebook, Elements Design on Instagram. I put up a few pictures here and there. I post new information on my website, on my Facebook page, and I also post new videos on my Facebook page. Please subscribe. I hope that you learned something here. Um, how to use, how to improvise, a good product to use, you know, where to find a great cloth, and how to polish a piece of copper, a piece of brass uh, jewelry. Thanks a lot. And remember, once again, this brass is solid brass. It's not coated. It's not a a uh, product that has any kind of coating on it. So before you go to clean any brass that you might have, know whether or not it has a coating on it. If it has a coating on it, the coating will be eaten off. Okay? And your brass revealed under may not be solid brass. And so you may not get a high sheen and a high polish like this. Although brass can polish back for a lifetime. For a lifetime. Back to its golden luster. Okay? That's why I use brass uncoated. And I know that it tarnishes on uh, 
clients over a period of time, but I teach them how to take care of it. And it is wonderful and it is lovely. Okay, thank you.